Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Angel Flores. Hi, hello. Welcome, welcome for sure. Today, we're doing a little get ready with me, a little mini kind of tutorial. Yeah, it was more focused on the eyes. But what do you guys think? As you read by the title, we're going to an LP concert. If you don't know who LP is, she is this amazing artist. Her music is incredible. We went to her concert last year, her North America, her first first North American tour. And this year is Heart to Mouth. So it's her new album. Oh, the orange is the theme. <laughs> I'm gonna put her album cover here. Definitely check her out. She is phenomenal. She's very like chill, folk, like indie, pop. Like it's kind of, it's hard. I don't even know what like genre I would identify her as. She's incredible and she has this whistle that like she just like. <laughs> wow. And the way she sounds in her records is the way she sounds live which is nice because you know some artists don't sound nothing how they do in their records. Yeah. So if you want to know what I use and how to recreate this look, then keep on watching. So let's do this. We're gonna start with eyes today because we're gonna go a little bold, just like a tiny, tiny little bit of bold. Um, I'm thinking like blues to really complement the orange. Got a whole theme going on here. Got my LP shirt. Mm -hmm. We're gonna neutralize our eyelids just a bit using my Too Faced Born This Way concealer. You guys know that I love, I've been using it a lot. It's my everyday concealer. We're gonna go right on the eyes and really help neutralize that. Doing this really helps to make the eyeshadows pop out a little bit more. And also you end up using less because since it's neutralized and it's gonna pop the eyeshadows, Juno sponge to blend this out. Have you guys tried this? Let me know in the comment section down below if you've tried this. One of my friends got this for me and I've been loving it. I can't put it down. This is Naked Tutorial's favorite beauty sponge. And I'm a she cute and she good. If you haven't used this sponge, I highly recommend it. It's literally like a regular sponge. However, it's wrapped around like velvety soft fabric. Um, yeah, like fibers, like velvety fibers. And it's just softer. I feel like it blends everything smoother. It makes it even more seamless in the Beauty Blender. And the Beauty Blender I love. It's another one of my favorites. And I use both the eyeshadow primer and the concealer because I want the eyeshadow primer to really hold the concealer in place and not crease and last longer. I'm gonna be out all day. I'm gonna be using a few different palettes cause like I just want, I wanna do like all blue at the top and black in the outer corner just to give that depth. Um, so it'll be a couple palettes. First we're gonna go in with the Sephora Pro palette is this Ginormica. I love these. They're so pigmented. They are a little bit pricey. They're $68. However, the color payoff and the amount of colors that you get in this, it's phenomenal. We're going to go in with Pegasus first. So it's this like powdery baby blue using just like a big fluffy crease brush. This is the Morphe RG24. Tilt your chin up, head back, and then just look at a mirror this way. What I'm gonna do first is kind of stamp this color right in the center. Kind of place it as a guide. Okay. Then you go back and you do your little circles to buff it and blend it out so we don't have a line. Remember, back and forth places the product and moves it where we want it. And then little circles buffs it out and blends it so it's diffused and it's not just like a like a line. I actually think I'm gonna blow this up a little bit. So I am going to extend it out just a little bit more out here. Mm -hmm. All right, so now that we have our crease set and ready to go, I'm gonna grab the Jaclyn Hill Palette X Muffy, and we're gonna dig into that nice royal blue. 
right in the bottom. So right here. Same crease brush, dipping just a little bit. I'm gonna focus this more so on the outer part of the crease, but not the lid. Still I'm working just on the crease. So quick story time. This morning I went to get my nails done, as you can see. They're beautiful. She did a great job. However, it's not what I wanted, okay? Anywho, I wanted an ombre orange instead of just all low, like a solid color on the entire nail. She said she couldn't do it. They didn't know how to do it. So I was like, are you kidding me? Nobody in here that works for you, none of your nail technicians know how to do an ombre. No, nobody can do it. If you want me to do that, we have to do the dip powder, but we already put your acrylic on, so we'd have to file it down, and that's like $60 for a refill. So, if you want, no. So I was like, whatever, just put it on the whole nail. It's cool. And this isn't my first time going there, so I should I should have expected this, because this always happens to me. I always ask for a certain thing. I show them a picture, and they never give me what I want. But they're cute, nevertheless, so, you know. Don't forget, you want to be intentional about what you are doing. So grab very little shadow, especially if you're working with bold, bright colors. Grab a little bit at a time and build as you desire more color or more intensity. All right, so now that we've built that to the desired depth for now, because we're going deeper, um, now going into the Perception palette, uh, ColourPop X Shayla. I love this palette, it's so gorgeous. We're gonna dig into 14 right over here. Looks like a navy blue to me, I don't know, maybe it's like a purple, who knows. You should even even tinier, smaller crease brush. This is the Morphe M562, my favorite for my eyes. Again, cause they're hooded, so I can like really go into my natural eye socket and just cut that out, you know? Starting in the outer corner of the crease and just swinging it, windshield wipers, into the eye socket. Once we have that color placed there, we're gonna do the little circles to bust it out so it's not such a blunt line. Now grabbing my original crease brush that we use, we're gonna hover over the edges of that to buff it into the other blues so it doesn't just abruptly stop, you know? We want that fade, that gray is young. <laughs> no additional product, just buffing it out. All right, so now that you've like played with it and finessed to see how deep and how dark you wanna go with the blue. So as you can see, I brought it in a little bit more cause we're gonna be doing like a cut crease. Um, but just play with it, see how deep you want the blue to be. But you see adding all those blues, although essentially it kind of like just looks like one, there's a better gradation. It fades softer, so it looks better. All right, so now using my concealer again, I'm gonna put some on the back of my hand. Using a flat shadow applicating brush or like a flat concealer brush would work as well. Stamp it in the center. Look up to Jesus, honey. Or whoever's up there. <laughs> so I was gonna do like a whole like cut crease from inner to outer corner, but I kind of like this halo situation that's happening here. So that's what we're doing. All right, so back to the Perception palette. Shade 14, just that darker blue that we use. We're gonna dip our small that is small crease brush i'm just gonna pat it in that outer and inner corner and notice i'm just doing dabbing motion so just tap 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 because i just want to build that intensity there 
All right, so so far your eyes should be looking something along the lines like this. Again, do as much or as little as you like is your personal choice. You don't have to go this bold, but I really wanted to contrast that orange. We're gonna dig back into our Sephora Pro palette using the color Atlantis right here. Using only one side of the brush. Don't forget to tap the excess off. We're gonna place this all along the center. Just fill in the gap. Okay, so now we're gonna go into the Fenty Beauty's Mint Mojito color and we're gonna pop this right in the center. Center of the halo eye. We're spritzing it just to intensify it a bit more. All right, so now we're gonna dig back into the Perception palette using Stellion, this color right here, which is a black, but it does have like blue purpley reflex. We're focusing this color just mainly on the outer corner. We're not gonna be putting it on the inner corner. Going back with our original crease brush, the first one that we used for that powdery blue color in the crease, which was our transition shade. We're gonna hover over the edges here of Stallion to blend in. All right, so now we're gonna tight line with our Marc Jacobs Gel Eyeliner. I like this one because it just glides on the eyes very easy. No irritating, no tugging your eye. Waterproof, smudge proof. So once it's set, it's set, honey. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with a liquid eyeliner. This one here is the Roller Liner by Benefit. Girl. This knocked my Stila off the chart. By far, this is my favorite one. Benefit came, changed the game for the liquid eyeliner. This is the mattest, blackest, most solid liner I found so far. Steel used to be my favorite. They have the regular size, which is similar to this one. And then they have the micro tip one. Micro tip was my favorite because of my eye shape and my eye size. This one, girl, it's big, but it gets the job done. It's quick. So right now we're gonna go ahead and just pop some mascara on our top lashes. Not the bottom just yet, because we're still gonna, we're gonna do our face and then come back to the eyes to do the bottom part. This is the Benefit Bad Gal Bang. Girl, if you haven't tried this, what are you waiting for? Gives you volume and length. It has arrow particles inside here. So as it's drying, it lifts your lashes, which, hello, if you've been following me, you know that my lashes are straight and they never go up. They never curl. Roller Lash by Benefit is another one that's one of my favorites because it like curls them and lifts them up as they dry also. But this one, mm. Game changer. All right, so it's coming out quite lovely, if you ask me. I'm gonna go ahead and do my face off camera and then we'll be right back to continue these eyeballs. All right, so we're back. So foundation's on, concealer. I bronzed a little bit, you know, to get definition. Um, right now, we're cooking under the eye and we're cooking with the milk translucent in light so our next step i'm gonna go in with a blue gel liner in my waterline at the bottom i'm gonna use the the real push-up liner by benefit i swear this isn't sponsored like girl like you see my followers i ain't got ain't nobody going home. you know no sponsoring here i just love benefit i really do uh what the fuck happened okay there it is so i took some out and put it in here I'm gonna use an angled brush. And we're gonna pop that right in the water line. All right, so now we're gonna dive back into our Sephora Pro palette. We're gonna go into that color we used in our transition in the crease, the Pegasus color, that baby powder blue. We're gonna go right up against the lash line and then just wiggle back and forth to buff it off. 
Now we're gonna go back into Shayla's palette and we're gonna use Stellion with a flat top brush like this. This is the Morphe M432. Just the tip of the flat top brush. This one's goal is to keep just in like the outer half. So stamp it where we want it first. I'm gonna grab a very small crease brush so that tiny little Morphe one we've been using and we're gonna kind of like blend out the edges a little bit more so it softly gradiates into it as opposed to just abruptly stopping like that. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my face. I'm gonna contour blush, highlight, um, I'm gonna do my brows and then we'll come back together again to pop these lashes on and then throw on a lip. Hey, hey. Glow appreciation, hunty. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Gerard Cosmetics. This is the Starlight palette. I used um, Maryland and Maryland like all over. So here, center of my face. And then I used Grace, which is the lighter one on my brow bone here. Mm-hmm. Use code AF Beauty for 30% off. They're no joke though. See, don't sleep on these. They're so affordable. They do sell these separately as well, which I need to get those two shades individually because I use them all the time. As you can see, I've hit pan on Marilyn because that's my favorite. She cute or whatever. So we're just gonna do brows here as well. Hi. I've really been loving the Milk Makeup Kush Fiber Brow Gel. One, the brush is small. You guys know Benefit, the Gimme Brow, here we go again with Benefit, was my favorite, but now this one has taken over. So this one has a bit more fibers. So it uses those fibers to kind of connect to wherever you have some gaps. They're so easy. It's like mascara for your eyebrows. Just the fiber, the brow gel, nothing else. I'm gonna stop right there and go ahead and do the other eyebrow. And then on the tail portion of my brow, I used the Brow Bar To Go by Gerard Cosmetics. I just used a darker shade in the palette using your angled eyebrow brush. And then just using the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel to lock it in. All right, and then for my eyelashes, I'm gonna be using ESG Cosmetics. If you don't know who ESG Cosmetics is, um, she is owned by Ileana, one of my Draw Cosmetics friends. She is also an affiliate with Draw Cosmetics. Um, she has her own lash line, she has brushes. The lashes are phenomenal. They are definitely drama, but she does have a little bit more natural ones if you don't like drama, but they're comfortable. The band is thin, it doesn't like irritate the eye or like weigh your eye down. You know, some of them are heavy as hell. These are not, and they're cute. Look at this little diamond encrusted. She cute, she cute. We're using Bella. Mm -hmm. All right, and then for lips, I'm gonna go in with um, Kylie Cosmetics Exposed Lip Liner. Girl, I don't know, don't judge. Then we're gonna do Dose of Colors X I Love Sarai color in the shade peachy because you know complement the blue and i'm not sure if i want to top it with the color pop x shayla the neat freak gloss i guess i'll pop everything else on and then decide once i have the lip on does anybody else kylie's lip pencils do that like it's like coming out of the thing like it's not attached to the wood or something i don't fucking know look see 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 what i mean 
Uh, what the fuck? All right. Or more spritz, spritz, spritz for good luck and ensuring that everything's going to stay put. Slay all day. This is in the Cucumber Scent by Dry Cosmetics. Love this one. Her favorite at the moment. This one and the Mystified. I've been loving those two so, so much. I'm going to go put my earrings on, change, and then we'll be back to wrap this up. All right, guys, so this completes the look. What do we think? How do we feel? Let me know in the comment section down below. A little monochromatic action going on with, you know, my nails, my little hoodie, background. We're running late, you know, per usual. <laughs> Our bitch is always running late. I love how this turned out. She smoky, she cute. She asking for attention, like, hey, bitch, look over here. Hopefully LP sees me. <laughs> Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe.